Okay, this will be a video showing how to make changes to a website using Beaver Builder. Okay, and I'm on the Dustbusters um, website here. Um, so I'm gonna change locations. I'm gonna add something to the locations page. Now these are links here, all of these things, which means, a link means if you click on it, it goes somewhere, okay? It goes to another page. So I just clicked on that link and it went here. So now I'm on this page and I'm gonna go back. Um, all right, now if I wanna add something, if I wanna add another link, okay, I'm gonna add Mission Creek because that's another town that we want here. And to find out where Mission Creek is, I go to Google and then just search for it, right? And then I go click on this map over here because uh, I want to see what zone it's in. So here I'm I'm there on the map and I see that, yeah, that's in for Dustbusters. This is zone four. Okay, so I want to put it in zone four. So I'm going to go over here to the, the page again. I'm on the locations page on the website and I want to add Mission Creek to this list here under zone four. So I need to go up to page builder. Okay, and then I can just close this out here or if I just see how these things are highlighted when I over when I hover over them, this is what I want to change. But so just to get this out of the way, because I don't want to, I do want to add content, but I don't need to add another module. So I'm just going to X that out, and I'm going to click here. Now when I click here, this is just not going to go to these links. It's just going to open up this edit area here, and here we have this stuff here, so I can edit. Now. To make this work a little bit better, I'm just gonna click the text thing over here, and here we can see the HTML that controls all these links. So what I usually do is I would just take the last one, and you can see the last one is Hinkley, and here is Hinkley here, and it starts with the LI for list, and then it ends with the slash LI. All of the HTML commands start and end with uh, command and then end, or they start with a command and then end with a slash command. So li in brackets and that ends in slash li. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this and copy it. And then I'm gonna put my cursor here, hit enter, and then I'm gonna paste. So now I have two Hinkleys. And if I hit space, then it shows up there, see? Um, okay, so now I don't want it to be Hinkley, I want it to be Mission Creek. So I'm gonna change that here. Okay, and changing it right here changes what you see on the screen. Now the link that it goes to is actually after this href. So I want it to go to the Mission Creek page. So what we're, what we're gonna do is for a, for a URL, which is the HTTP thing, you can't have spaces in that, so so you can't say mission space creek. But what you can do is you can say mission dash creek, okay? And it's all lowercase in the URL, okay? So now if we save that, we'll save it, and we have mission creek on here now, and then we click done, and we click publish pages. Okay, so now let's test it. Now what happens when I go to and click on this? Okay, it goes to the Mission Creek page, and oh, we have a Mission Creek page. I was thinking we didn't have one, but maybe Megan has added that already. Okay, so there it is. Um, now let's go and see. Um, basically, that's how you add the, I, I'm just gonna end this video here because that just shows how you add the, uh, the links. And that'll be simple, straightforward. We'll just focus on one topic on this video. Okay, all done.